Hello, everybody. How are you? Tom Francis here with the Francis Real Estate Group. Um, we're going to do a virtual open house tour um, of 3616 North Upland Street with the um, help of my um, partner in business here, Chris Aldino. Um, you won't necessarily see him, but he is behind the scenes working all the technology that we're going to do. Anyway, um, this is 3616 North Upland Street, and this house was built by Premier Arlington Falls Church, McLean Builder, MR Custom Homes. Um, he builds a bunch of homes in those three uh, counties, and it, they're just amazing. Anyway, I'm sure you've seen one of his before, and if you haven't, you're in for a treat. Before we go in the house, uh, I'd like to show you the location of this property. It's located in Country Club Hills, very close to Military Road, a very easy drive to get down to Washington, D.C., um, you just pop right out on the military road and, and go right down to Spout Run and go in, or you could um, go left on military and go right across the chain bridge and go down Canal Road and get into DC. So literally one light away um, if you go the chain bridge route. Um, so two different ways to get into DC. Um, it's in uh, Jamestown Elementary School, uh, Williamsburg Middle School and Yorktown High School. So those are all very close by. And of course, it's right next to Washington Golf and Country Club in popular Country Club Hills. So let's jump back to the house and we'll go inside and, and we'll get an idea here of what this place looks like. So there's the front door looking from inside the house and we'll spin around and, and kind of see, pretend like we're walking right in the front door. And you'll see right there is as to your left, if you walk in the front door, is the dining room that has fantastic wainscoting. Look at the crown molding that you see on the ceiling. This house has 10 foot ceilings in it um, throughout the main level, and then nine on the upstairs and nine on the downstairs. So if, if you look to the right, this is staged as an office. Um, and this, actual, this house actually has a separate office. If you really like this to be a formal living room, you could use that as well. But because there's another space on the main floor, we'll see in a minute that could also be as, used as an office or a kid's playroom. So very spacious house. In total, this house is 6,600 square feet on four levels. So you'll see here just off the foyer as you pass the living room and dining room, we have a powder room um, that has a coat closet in that little area. And now we'll jump back out into the family room area. You'll notice this area, look at those cedar beam ceilings. Um, we have a stone fireplace here that is, look at that, it has a custom mantle, wood mantle that matches those cedar beams and some really nice cabinetry on either side. Um, if we scan over here to the kitchen area, this is just an amazing kitchen. I mean, look at the size of this island. It has two and a half inch granite countertops on it a 48 inch refrigerator, that's a sub-zero refrigerator. And the cabinetry, if you notice the cabinetry, it's not only inset cabinetry, but it has a whole second layer of cabinets on the top that has glass in them. They light up, you can put decorations in there, you can use it for extra storage of china or fancy plates. Um, so we'll walk a little bit further into the kitchen and you can see that this one has not only a, a sink, that looks out over the backyard, but it has that prep sink. And then there's a 48 inch woof range um, that you can see with a microwave next to it. And this kitchen actually has two dishwashers in it. Look at that hood kind of to match uh, the cedar beam ceiling. It's really nice. So we'll walk over, take a peek in the mud room there with the custom floor. It's a, a imitation slate floor um, that's actually tile, but it looks like slate. Um, that, that door there leads to the garage, there's the pantry, and now we'll pop back out into the kitchen and walk through. We'll go by the breakfast area so you can see that, how open this is. And I want you to notice when you're looking out the backyard, um, how nice that view is. I mean, you walk out onto the screen porch, you're not looking into anybody else's house or anyone's backyard, you're looking over it. So. It's, it sits up on a hill, but you'll notice that it's very flat. Once you get down to the grassy area, it's a nice flat area, completely fenced in. There's a lower patio um, with a sitting wall on it. 
um, that you can go down and that's in a walkout basement. Um, another entertaining space down there. And then, you know, you can get a good view of this, this screen porch, but it's not just any screen porch. Look at those heaters that it has and the vaulted ceilings with the skylight. Um, just an amazing screen porch with beautiful views. And you can use this a little bit further into the year and a little bit later um, in, the, in the summer, um, getting into the fall with those heaters. All right, well, let's um, head over to the staircase. And before we go upstairs and look at the bedroom floor, um, we'll take a peek to the left there. That's that extra room that I told you um, has a full bath in it. Um, we won't go all the way in, but just get an idea. Lots of light. Could use that as a kid's playroom. You could use that as a bedroom if you like, because it has that full bath over there. So that's the main level. And we'll go upstairs. And what we're going to do upstairs, um, there are two floors going up. Um, so I want to not go into each bedroom up there, um, but when we go upstairs, what you'll notice is that there are three bedrooms on the front of the house. Each has its own bath. Um, so walk-in closets in each one, each has its own bath and tons of light comes in this house. And so those are all three on the front. And then that's the third bedroom there. And then that's a laundry room. Um, very good sized laundry room that has counter space, has cabinetry in it, and even hanging full size hanging space with a sink. So there's your laundry room. And now we're going to go to this spectacular master bathroom. Um, and while we're walking there, you can see some of the detail wainscoting, all the doorways, all the windows done with custom molding. Um, here we go into the master bath bedroom. So we have the master bedroom. Um, the master bedroom has a very, very private, but extremely light filled with the tray ceiling. And then across the hall, still in the master bathroom, in the master bedroom, is uh, two closets, one on the left, one on the right for his and hers. Um, plenty of shelving in there, custom built shelving. And then we'll walk into this amazing master bathroom um, that says heated marble floors inset cabinetry. I mean, you could see how much lights in this place. Huge shower, large soaking tub. Just, just really peaceful. Okay, well, let's just go back out and we'll shoot downstairs. And oh, actually, we have one more level up that I need you to take a peek at really quick. So this one has a fourth level loft and it could serve as, you know, maybe an older kid's bedroom or a craft area or a playroom. So now we're up on the fourth floor, um, has a full bath, has a closet, and can have a sitting room, just multi-purpose multi, multi room here that you can use for whatever fits your family. So we'll go back to the staircase and jump all the way down to the basement quickly and, and then we'll finish up there. So now we're coming down the basement stairs and to the left, is the full legal size bedroom that goes into a bathroom. The bathroom, a walk-in closet there. The bathroom also opens out to the rec room area. So we have a bathroom there. We have the exercise room complete with the mirrors, um, rubber flooring. And then you'll notice the flooring in this whole basement, um, other than that bedroom and the exercise room is LVP, or luxury vinyl plank or luxury vinyl tile. Um, this has a small walk-up wet bar area, um, also has a media room that has stage seating. Um, this is uh, really convenient if you have a bunch of people over at a get-together, a party, or kids are playing while you're trying to watch a ball game or something. Um, it's not a closed-in room, but it's open to the rest of the room so other people or more people can see. Um, this is a little room. It could be a wine cellar, could be a little craft room. Um, put a glass door on there so it can be what works for your family. Anyway, well, that's our tour of 3616 North Upland Street and Country Club Hills. Um, I hope you guys, if you have any questions, you can call us here at the Francis Real Estate Group. Um, feel free to reach out at any time and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.